So you know what though, honestly, this is a general reading. Um, and I have to say, all the other cards here look absolutely beautiful. I mean, the Wheel of Fortune, the Star, Temperance, Judgment, these are all really, really strong cards. And these are the major Arcana cards. The minor Arcana cards, they're energies that shift, wax and wean, you know. Um, they're things that we can kind of control, manifest. And the major Arcana cards are areas where it's kind of out of our control. It's meant to happen. It's, it's, it's part of your destiny or a part of your karma. Um, so to have the major Arcana cards be as beautiful as they are outweighs any negative cards that may appear, okay? Or any negative messages that may appear. I feel ultimately this month is about facing your own fears, facing your own doubts. You've been through a battle, okay? And I still feel like you're carrying some of that anxiety about, you know, like you're waiting for the other shoe to drop, you know? It's like things can't just be this calm. I feel like there's been a calm that has come over in the last, I don't know, maybe a couple of weeks, maybe even, I wanna say September was a bit challenging, but I wanna say maybe in this last week or two, you've kind of noticed a shift, okay? Even in your own self and your own energy and how you're perceiving things, it's almost like this is a moment where you get to take a breath, okay? But at the same time, you're still anxious because you're wondering, okay, when is the other shoe going to drop? There's something else around the corner because lately that's the way it's been. Um, this month, it's really about you finding you. You've been dealing with some external battles okay uh, external circumstances that you may have felt were out of your control and you kind of had to go with the flow this month it's all about internal work it's all about okay things have quieted down on the external plane now it's time for me to focus on myself i want to say a message i'm getting here is meditation 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 would be great for you even if it's like five minutes before bed you just really try to just clear your mind, do some deep breathing. That alone is meditation. So that's something that I feel would be very, very helpful to you. And it'll help you with this anxiety that you're feeling. Okay. I feel like your emotions are like an ebb and flow. And there's also like an emotional roller coaster still because you're again, just waiting for the other shoe to drop. Like I said, I want to say also financially, you may be having some challenges at the beginning of the month. Now, the star card next to the two of pentacles is telling me, look, this is the prime time for, uh, and the wheel of fortune, okay? Really, the, the star card and the wheel of fortune is saying, what you wish for, you're going to get this month. You're going to get it. But you have to put in the work to get it, okay? That means that, let's say, just as an example, you've always wanted to write a book. And it's always been in the back of your mind, but you never really thought about really doing it, you know, you've wanted to, you dreamed about it, but you never really sat down to write. This is the month to start writing. This is the month to um, get those creative juices flowing. If you've always wanted to start your own business, but you've been too afraid, this is the month to really start planning it. Okay, sit down with a pen and paper, talk to, um, to professionals who know about that line of business, um, network, this is the month to do it. Overcome your fears because at the center here we have the Four of Wands, which talks about victory. This card is all about finding that stability and believing in yourself, knowing that, yes, I can accomplish this. Yes, I can have this. Okay? You're finding that security and confidence within yourself this month if you believe in yourself, if you believe in your dreams and you overcome your own doubts and fears and insecurities. Okay? Yes. You've been through a battle, the Nine of Wands is saying, but you're still standing strong. You see that um, this, this dock right here is still protected, okay? They're still protected. There's, this storm has been there, but they're still there. Those wands are still standing. So that's where you're at. You're still standing. You've been through a storm, but you're still standing. 
And it's time for you to recognize that what this storm was there to teach you is really about your own strength and your own abilities so that you can come into this new phase of your life with that confidence in order to go after what it is you need to go after to be what you're meant to be to do what you're meant to do this is a big transitional month things are just it's like a 180 okay the high priestess here is saying follow your intuition follow your gut know what it is you know what it is already it's something that you've already been dreaming about or you've thought about it's kind of been there um, but you haven't really investigated it or really tried to work on it, but it's something that you think, man, if I could do that, that would be great. That would be awesome. I would love that. You know, I'd love to be able to publish a book or I'd love to be able to start my own business or I would love to be able to finish school. Um, I would love to be able to have children. This is the month in which these things can come about for you. Temperance and judgment. Beautiful because it's saying, there's healing here and the healing is happening in you believing in yourself, manifesting what it is you want, judgment being all about a new life. Okay, you see these people raising, uh, rising up from their graves into a new life. It's a rebirth. And this is the month in which you're doing that. Ace of Swords is the overall energy. It's mental clarity. It's that new idea. It's or it's not even new. It's something that you've been having, but it's it's like taking. Uh, it's on the forefront of your mind now. This is what I want to do. This is what I'm going to go for. Okay. And also, the Ace of Swords talks about a hard-earned victory. You've been through. You've been you've been through um, the rough of it. Okay. And now is the time with the Ace of Swords that you're coming out victorious. Let's take a couple clarifying cards here and then I'm going to move into the love portion of this reading. And I first, uh, you know, I want to look at this Three of Swords. And I personally, the way I'm seeing it, be. Uh, with, with the Two of Swords and the Three of Swords being beneath the Wheel of Fortune, to me, it's saying that things are changing. If you've been going through some challenges, things are going to turn out better. You've went through heartache. You've went through indecision and doubt and fear. Now the Wheel of Fortune is changing. Again, the overall energy being the Ace of Swords, it's a victory card. So you're overcoming these challenges. But let's just look at this Three of Swords. It's a gift that you're moving on from heartbreak and heartache, possibly from a, a failed relationship or marriage or some type of a contract agreement, uh, maybe even with an employer. And you're soldiering on, you're moving forward, you're proceeding ahead, okay? from this heartbreak. Let's look at the Two of Swords to see what this indecision is about. We had two cards, three cards flew out, so we're gonna take those. Consistency, stability, pleasure seeking, and communication. So the indecision comes in, um, you know, should I work hard? Should I go for this? Should I try? Or should I just continue doing what I'm doing? Um, but there's some type of communication um, that kind of, uh, it kind of pushes you in the direction that you're meant to go. Okay? Um, because I feel like you know it's going to be a lot of work to do what it is you feel that you're called to do. So you kind of want to sit back and just enjoy the peace and quiet and what, you know, the, the coming over the, a challenging time. Um, but there's some communication that's saying you can't stop now. You can't stop now. What you have learned, what you have gained, and the courage that you have, that you have gained out of what has transpired is the catalyst for what's pushing you in the right direction. 
Let's look at the Ace of Swords. Okay, ultimately what I'm getting with these three cards, this is the Death card, Money card, and the Sweetheart card. Do something you love. Do something you love. Stop doing things that don't serve you. Stop encouraging things that don't serve you. If you're at a dead end job and you're miserable, but you're there to make money, you know that there's something else you're supposed to be doing. Go after it, okay? Because this is ultimately what you want to do. The sweetheart is passion, okay? This is, go after what you're passionate about. You have to put an ending to the old to begin something new. And it's like with the money card coming up here on the Ace of Swords, it's guaranteed it's going to be prosperous, okay? But you have to trust it. So with that, let's move into the love portion for Virgo. Sorry, shaking the camera there. Okay, we had the world fall out. Ooh, Ace of Cups is what I'm talking about. Ace of Cups. All right. We have the Magician, the Emperor, Three of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Five of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, there you are, Justice, King of Swords, oh, we've got a lot of people here, and the Knight of Pentacles. Overall energy is Ten of Cups, beautiful. Okay, let's see. Um, I feel like some of you have been dealing with someone um, who's been kind of malicious and um, you very manipulative, okay? Someone who's using their manipulative tactics to gain something out of you or try to work something out of you. And you're shutting it down, okay? Because you're like, look, been there, done that. You're not going to allow this person with the Five of Swords, you know, the Five of Swords is someone who tries to win at all costs, even if it's a it's a shallow victory. They're just, I feel like this person's very spiteful, but the Justice card underneath that says, nah, -uh, this isn't going to happen. See these scales here? They're balanced. So this person's not going to get away with whatever they're trying to get away with. Um... This can be an air sign. This can be a, a, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Or it can just be someone that's very emotionally, it's, he comes across emotionally distant, cold, calculating. I feel like for the single, uh, single Virgos, there's going to be multiple offers coming in. I, I feel like the Emperor here, it can be an external energy. It can be a male an older male, or it can be a mature male who's ready for a committed monogamous relationship, okay? Um, but there may be a fight here, and I feel like there's a fight because this person that you have been dealing with, or it can be someone from your past, may be interrupting this new relationship or this new love opportunity, okay? But you're not going to let it fade. You're not going to let it disturb this uh, new opportunity, this new love relationship. This person, this new person coming in can be someone that, you know, you have a long-standing relationship with. It can be someone that uh, you're with long-term. But for some of you, the emperor is you. You're taking control of your love life. You're saying, no more, enough is enough. I want what I want. I know what I want. You're looking for something more serious. You're looking for something um, with a strong foundation. 
But again, I see multiple offers coming in this month, multiple opportunities. And it's because you're letting something go from the past. You're letting go of a past relationship. It's come full circle. You emotionally are not invested in this anymore as of this month. And you have love on offer to you and from you to others. You know what I'm saying? You're opening your heart up to receive love. And when you do that, you allow others to come in. And that's where we have the multiple offers here. I feel like um, you're going to be someone, you're going to take your time in moving forward in a relationship because you want to make sure that it's going to be the kind of relationship you want. So even though your heart is open, you're going to be, you're going to be um, this time around, you're going to be using more of your head than your heart when making decisions in relationships, which is smart. Okay. Oops. For those of you in a relationship, um, this person that you're with, again, it's, it's kind of the same characteristics as what I had stated previously. It's someone who's kind of controlling, can be someone kind of, um, you know, being malicious, someone who doesn't have the best intentions. And I think this month you're going to be battling it out with this person. And ultimately, it's going to be up to you to decide, you know, if you can stay in this relationship, if it's fair enough for you. For a lot of Virgos, I don't think it will be. I think you're going to stand your ground and you're going to be the emperor. And again, you're going to take control of your love life, of your relationship and say, I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> this relationship has come full circle because what I'm ultimately looking for is this. I want complete, utter happiness. I want everything. I want all 10 cups. <laughs> not four, not five, not eight. I want the whole shebang. Okay. Let me look at this five of wands in the center here. We have a gift. Yeah, the best thing you can do for yourself, what it's saying here, when it comes to this um, old partnership coming in that wants to maybe wreak havoc on your love life or kind of um, get in the way of you meeting new potential mates, the best way to handle it is realize it was a gift in letting this person go and be of service to yourself and just release this person if you haven't already emotionally okay let it go you don't have to engage with this person okay when it comes to your love life um for some of you i'm feeling like this five of wands and these cards coming up in the five of wands is expressing that this person from the this person who's arguing with you still has feelings for you that they haven't let go yet but I feel like this month, finally, it's going to happen. I mean, we see two cards here with balancing of scales. Both of these cards have scales, and they're both balancing them. So it's like wherever there's been injustice, it's going to be corrected this month. Let's look at this Ten of Cups. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Ten of Cups, look, I'm tired of dealing with falseness. I'm tired of, of dealing with deception. I'm tired of fake relationships, fake people, fake you know, situations. I'm tired of playing the part. I want something real. Something real comes in, something new, because you're open to it now. You've let go of something from the past. You've, you've emotionally untied yourself. So now it opens the door for something new. And you're going to be learning more about yourself, more about love, more about intimacy in this new relationship than you have in the past with anyone.